Hey guys, welcome back. This is um, a horror map let's build number two. And I'm just going to show you a few things I've added. Like, it's just a few sound effects. So, what I've added is when you press the button, there's some ambient e effects. There's ambient sound in the background, as you can hear. So, um, yeah, there's a jump scare here. Um, doors locked. Then, here, um, there's that gate. Here's the library. Right now it's closed. And then to um, open it, you must just come here, open the chest, get the diary and stuff, which is not in there. And now the library is open. We'll also, add the sound. Okay, then when you open the chest, you'll find another book in there. Walk here. Yeah, you can see the library how it was before, as we've seen. And then, yeah, you wake up, the library is closed off again. Uh, and now, if I walk to this gate, it opens. And then there's another classroom here. And there's a chest there which you can open. So I'm just going to quickly restart the map to stop the ambient sounds. Okay, so what my goal is for this episode is to build a basement and also turn this into like a little courtyard sort of thing, like a box. So this will lead up going around to that side. There's going to be like doors um, going into this area. There's going to be stuff here. Ma um, mainly I want to put the basements around. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I will. So I'll just get back to you after I've made more progress. Okay guys, it is finished. I have built the basement and also if I just come out here, you can see I've made the... Like a little courtyard thingy, magic, or a courtyard, uh, whatever. And then in here, um, here, there we go, quest, found the lost page of the book of demons in the basement. Here's, um, James's diary. Uh, James, um, is actually you. So this is your diary. It says, this place, it is becoming very weird. I've been a pupil here since grade eight, but it has never felt this dark. My classmate Henry has been acting the most dark. I don't know what he is getting himself into. I've gone to the library to do some research on his behavior and I found something called the Book of Demons. I've ripped out a very important page of the book, but now I've lost it. I've looked everywhere. I think Henry has taken it and I think I know why. 1958, February. So I made a whole bunch of copies. They are going to go away, but I normally lose my books, so yeah. So now the basement opens, and when you walk in, it says, please, please, please don't hurt me. And then this will be closed, and you walk in, and then you find Darren. When you go to Darren, oh, thank God, it's you. I thought that demon guy was coming back. Anyway, thank you for opening that door, James. No problem, Darren, but why are you here? Well, you know how I'm big on paranormal things? Well, he captured me and wants to know how to become the most powerful demon ever. I've told him nothing, but I am afraid. You must stop him. But how do I stop him? Well, in my studies, I found out that some of the teachers were in on this, and the demon is was your friend Henry. The teachers helped him become what he is now and he is trying to become more powerful. So what you need to do is find the parts to build the D demonizer and we might be able to save Henry from himself. Meet me back here after you have found all the parts. Take this page. I took it from Henry. It will help you. Thank you Darren. I just hope we can save him. 
So this is the page that it just gave me. And you can see it says torn out page. And it says to destroy a demon, you'll have to build a de-demonizer. It consists of five parts. One, quartz. Two, iron ingot. Three, potion of healing. Four, diamond. And five, a bible. So, yeah, that's what I've done so far. And then, um... I'm gonna make like rooms where you can get all five parts and if like two or one part will actually be found in the dream world. Um, so they are, that'll be pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you how the conversation works. Okay, so this is the conversation. Um, all of these hoppers um, are timers and they um, after each time it'll go to a next time and a next time and so I can set the time between each um, sentence or paragraph he says. So w what I'm doing is I'm executing all entities, that is a villager and the name is Darren, at their location and I'm testing for the nearest player within a radius of three. Um, if there is a player within a radius of three, it will activate this comparator, which will turn on this infinite redstone, so he won't do the whole talking thing again. Um, this will set block a barrier behind the door inside the cell, so you can't walk out. This one will set block a redstone block right here. And then this one will just add a blank line basically so if I just quickly get a redstone torch you can see there it just adds that blank line there with nothing which will give a space for the talking and then two ticks later it will just hit block this with air and then I'll say um, the first part of the speech um, thank you for opening the door which will turn off this torch, which will put an item in here, which will activate this comparator, which will keep the item in here for um, 9 seconds. And it will also lock this repeater. So the only reason I do that is so if the minute that goes into there, it doesn't start the next timer. Basically, the next timer will start when the item goes back into here. Because when that is locked, and then this goes into here, this resin torch will be on, which will un, which will not be able to go through because it's, this uh, repeat is locked. But then when it goes back in, it will um, quickly unlock it, and then this will uh, still be on and turn this one off, which will do the same thing there, and um, three ticks later it will turn back off. So it will only turn off after this has been unlocked, but it will lock first before that can turn on. So yeah, it's pretty confusing, it actually took me a while to figure this thing out. Um, but basically it's just repeating. Um, the same thing. He has just a different design. This design is um, the exact same as it's, what it's doing here. But this this design, what you do is you just make a turn in another direction. You can see I also put it here. Uh, that's the last part of the speech. So yeah, I also put a Darren here so I don't have to keep going to there. Oh, damn it. Well, yeah, now no, he started to talk to me. Damn it. So you can see it's locked and this is on. And then you see that, that activated that and then this came and turned it off again and I'll keep going there, that way. So yeah, it will just keep on going through each timer. Okay, I've continued the map a bit more. And also I've made the room where you get the quartz, but I haven't actually implemented it into the room. And you'll see what the room is now. So right now I've just come out the library there and you can see that 
I can't go this way. And also can't go this way. The basement was locked, but when I open that chest over there, it opens. Okay, so when you go down to the basement, it obviously does the um, conversation. And also, I uh, can't get out. Okay, so after that, you can uh, you can see that this is open, and also I've modified the book. As you can see, I've added color and everything. So, to on our page, to destroy a demon, you'll have to build a de-demonizer. It consists of five parts, one, one times quartz, one times iron ingots, one times potion of healing, one times diamond, and one times bible. So, it's the same thing, but just a um, bit more neater, I guess. And also, um, here you can see that this is open, and also this. Okay. The room I've added is the attic. So if I just go up into the attic, you can see that there's like this area, and then here, there's a door there. You can't really see what goes down. Um, nothing there, but there's a hole here, so I'm going to quickly jump down it. And says, oh no, this again, why is this happening to me? Maybe I should tell Darren about these dreams. Or are they dreams? I don't know. I guess my only option is to venture through this place. And then the quest, find a way out of the dream and tell Darren about them. So, this is the attic. You can also see I've added lockers um, to this, so you'll see that now. And this is the attic, and then this is the door um, in the other room. So you can see it looks exactly the same. There's the hole there. And here's the ladder going down. And then this is where the people can actually see the hall where, how it was before. So the whole hall, you can see there's lockers everywhere. Here's the basement, but you can't go down into it. So I'm going to save the basement for another time. Like in the map, I've built it there already, but there's nothing inside. Um, class E6, you also can't go into it. Um, that's the class where you got the diary. Can't go this way, but also what is cool is that when you're walking through the, um, library, you can see the hall, um, down there. You can also see how it turns as you go through the library. Because I connected this up to the library. And then this, you won't be able to get to this part because it's blocked from both sides. And then it's exactly the same room. So, um, so this is the room where you'll get the quartz and maybe a few other things. So, yeah, I'm just going to get back to you once I've built the rooms. Um, don't know how many rooms I'm going to put in, but however much I put in here, I'll also have to put into the other place. I'll quickly show you this place. You can see... They're like right next to each other. There's the one attic, and then here's the other attic. So, um, I'm just going to show you how the teleporting to the, um, this attic works. Okay, here it is. Uh, it's just these two, and also the hopper thing over here. So, what this one does, it will set your attic dream, which is a dummy, um, is a scoreboard objective dummy called Attic Dream. And if you are at this location, that's when you're in the hole, um, in the normal haunted, uh, school, it will set your Attic Dream to 1. And then when you have an Attic Dream of 1, so all players who's got an Attic Dream of 1, I'm gonna TP them from their location 2.66 Posit in the positive x direction, two up, um, in the y, and ten, ten across in the z. But this, um, command, the teleport command actually activates three times. So I had to take the original numbers and divide them by three. So this was thirty, I think this was eight, and this was, um, six. So, yeah, so that activates three times. Um, 
before it will turn on this comparator. And when it does turn on this comparator, it will set my attic dream to zero. Um, we'll do the why is this happening to me thing. Um, it'll play sound custom.thump1, but exactly the same, but with a 2.0 pitch instead of 1.0 when you went into the other library there. And it'll also affect all players with night vision, forever, one, and true. So you'll have night vision inside that place. And then when I get you out, it will just affect it be clear. Then what they'll do is also turn off this torch, which will put the um, hopper item into here, and will be will give this hopper a transfer cooldown of 180, which is just enough time for this message to fade out. After that message fades out, it will activate these commands. These four are just empty, which will give it the space, like at a at a as I've showed. <laughs> And then um, we'll just go through these. So this one will just say quest, then one space, or uh, leave one space, and then it will say find a way out of the dream and tell Darren about them. Gold. So yeah, that is basically how the teleporting to the dream attic works. <laughs> 